Elise, why didn't you tell me about the change of the date of the lunch meeting? I thought it was today, so I've been waiting since noon, you know? Sorry, sorry. I messaged everyone individually, but I just forgot to let you know. I think it's really on purpose, isn't it? What makes you think that? Elise, you've been very hostile towards me. Last time, didn't you also lie to me about the other meeting place? As you can see, when you do the same thing twice, I am inclined to doubt you. Well, Ayla, I guess it's true that I don't like you much. I just, what did I do that you didn't like? Ayla, unlike some of my other mom friends, you don't follow what I say. Even though I'm the boss mom of this group, you're acting sassy. If I do whatever you tell me to do, then aren't you just making fun of me? Besides, you have to be clear about what you want to say. I'm just not comfortable with it. That's the point! You just said, yes, that's right. It would have been good if you just kept obeying. In other words, but you always give me your opinion every time. In other words, you don't like me because I'm being sassy, and so that's why you're harassing me? When it comes to raising children, I don't think that kind of thing is good. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Oh, by the way, you're... Are you coming to the upcoming mom club's trip? You're being kind of rude. I'll be there for the trip, of course. It feels like I'm the one who planned most of it anyways. Oh, so you stuck your nose into the travel plans this time, huh? My husband works for a travel agency, so I only ran for secretary because I thought I could help. Your husband, as I recall, he works for a major travel agency, doesn't he? Yes. Well, unlike my husband, I don't think he has a similar position. No, my husband is a department head. What? I mean, he's not much older than my husband, and the company isn't as well known as the one where my husband works. I'm getting even angrier. I didn't mean to offend you. You make me feel bad talking to you. Well, let's drop this conversation now, shall we? I'm too busy, so please excuse me. Several days later. Ayla, it's about the upcoming trip with the mom's club, but they changed the meeting time to 1pm. What? Why all of a sudden? Actually, a mom who is a member of the group just can't make it at 10 o'clock, so I decided to change the time. Do the other moms know? Of course! I've already given messages to the other members of the group individually. Isn't it faster if you just sent it as a group message? If it's a group message, maybe they won't look at it, right? It's an important message, so I had to contact you individually. But will the tickets be okay? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I've made arrangements for you. Okay. Are you doubting me by any chance? That's because you've done the same thing to me twice. I'm so sorry about that. I think I was out of my mind. If you're mad at me, I'll get down on my knees and apologize. No, you don't have to go that far. I'm not angry with you in the first place. Ayla, you are so sweet. It kind of brought tears to my eyes. Are you really crying? Yeah, I'm crying because I'm so moved. Okay, for now, the meeting time will be at 1pm, right? Yeah, don't come in early, okay? Why? I don't see anything wrong with getting there early. Why don't you take the time to get some rest? Ayla, you are a hard worker. You must be tired of housework and childcare every day. That is also the case with you, Elise. We're both housewives, so we're in this together. Well then, I'll see you at 1pm on the day itself. It's not 10, it's 1. You don't have to say it over and over again. 1pm. Well, I'll be looking forward to it. Travel day. Ayla, you're a sleepyhead, aren't you? When are you going to show up at the meeting point? Everyone is already here, you know? Good morning. Oh no, wasn't it at 1pm today? Sorry, I made a mistake with the time of the flight. We'll go first, you don't have to come. I already have everyone's ticket. Huh? Have you forgotten? This trip was booked by me, and I even arranged the tickets, remember? Oh, yes. You have the tickets for the 10 a.m. departure. You don't even have a ticket. How are you going to get on the plane? Even if you buy it now, you won't make it in time for departure, you know? That can't be helped. Then I'll just explain it to my friends and let them know what's going on. We'll leave on the next flight. I know it hurts to have to spend extra money, but I don't have a choice. They're saying that they don't feel like traveling with you, though. Huh? 
Actually, I and a few other moms know about your attempt to set me up. What do you mean? After receiving a call from you about the time change, I checked with my other mommy friends. They then said that none of them had ever heard of the time change, so I realized that you've been trying to set me up again. Why did you even check? Isn't it obvious? As you can imagine, even I would be suspicious if you did the same thing twice. I'm not that stupid. Wait a minute! Then why is it that even though I lied to you about the meeting time, the other mommy friends are here? And you say that they don't want to travel with me? I don't understand what you mean. That is, until the day of the trip, we'd been pretending that we knew nothing. Huh? We were trying to discuss how to interact with you in the future, depending on what you'll do today. Then, if I had set you up as planned, you'd all stop interacting with me? Yes, we all know your selfish behavior, and we got fed up, and we're looking for a good opportunity to stop talking to you. But I'm the boss mom that everyone loves, right? You said you'd all stop seeing me? I think the idea itself is strange, don't you? In your case, you're just a self-proclaimed boss mom. It's not self-proclaimed. You all treated me like a leader. If you were adored as a leader, I don't think the moms would leave you though, would they? In fact, even now, you're alone, right? Huh? When did they disappear? While you were preoccupied with messaging me, they went back home. Went back home? Then what about today's trip? I don't know. Elise, why don't you go alone? We were all supposed to travel together today, weren't we? Are you saying that we all won't go? We're talking about going another day. The plane ticket for today got wasted, but when you think about it, they all got excused from going with you, they said. Hey, and that includes my ticket? They'll give me my money back, right? Normally, you would have taken care of the rest for us, so isn't it reasonable to bear the burden? Huh? Because you were trying to exclude me from the group, you ruined everyone's trip, you know. If you change your mind on the day of the trip, you could have let me know the original time or something, at the very least. It's too bad because we could have had a normal trip. Then that means no trip today? That's right. I'll be in trouble! I told my family that we're going on a mom's club trip today, you know? For today's trip, I got my in-laws to take care of my kids. If I told you that the trip was cancelled on short notice, it would look suspicious. That has nothing to do with us. Why don't you just be honest with your family? Or if you don't feel comfortable talking about it, you could go on a trip alone. What the hell? You're really trying to exclude me from the group, aren't you? The first one to leave me out of the group was you, though. I've heard from other moms, but if you don't like someone, even just a little, you have no problem leaving them out of your group. I'm not trying to exclude you from anything! Before me, there is Carla, whom you victimized, it seems. Carla was very kind and had been getting an along just fine, but in the end, it seems she got pretty stressed. Shut up! That was because Carla's daughter was bad for not giving the role of princess to my daughter while they were in the playground. When I told them that my daughter was more gorgeous, she said that she can't allow anyone to say anything bad about her kid and snapped at me. She has every right to be angry about that. On the contrary, you wouldn't feel good if someone said something bad about your own children, would you? I won't let anyone speak ill of my daughter. I think people like that should go to hell. In the same way that you prioritize your kid above all the other kids, we too care very much of our own children. If so, the boss mom's kid should be respected more than the other children, right? Can you even understand that much? I can't keep up with you anymore. In the first place, we don't think of you as your boss. Huh? You took on that position on your own and behaved as if you were one, but a leader as a person isn't someone who manipulates others to do what he or she wants them to do, you know? As they think about each and every member, they also recognize the people who coordinate everything, I think. Shut up! 
I have lived on this land longer than you have, you know? I am the one who knows this land inside and out. Even though I was trying to form a group and become friends with you guys, this is how you return the favor, huh? So you're saying that since you've lived on this land longer than we have, you want to say that you're great? Of course! If you ever disobey me in the future, you'll pay for it. Did you listen to what I just said? We're not going out with you anymore, is what I said. We would never go traveling and eating out with you, even if you invited us. Oh, really? Then fine. I will get all my other mom friends together and go traveling or whatever. Okay. I don't know if you'll ever find a friend, but good luck. I'll find them. You'll see. I'll give them an even more luxurious trip, too. Several days later. Hi, Ayla. I need to talk to you about something. May I? What is it? Oh, thank God you answered. So, what's the story? I just wanted to apologize for acting like I didn't care about whatever you guys wanted to do. I'm so sorry. I never thought I would hear an apology from you. My husband was so angry with me after that time. I realized I was in the wrong. I would have done the same thing if another mom friend had done it to me. It makes me sick, and I'm glad you understood. So, I'd like to join you on that trip. Do you mean the mom's club trip that we're planning for? Yeah, I thought I'd like to go with everyone. Huh? Aren't mom's club members the only people who are supposed to be invited to the trip? I know, but... You couldn't get any members together, so you're thinking of trying to make up with us and have you join us on the trip, right? How did you know that I couldn't get any members together? I heard it from another group of moms. They said that you persistently invited them to travel with you, so they were troubled. Troubled? Elise, it's because you're famous, even in other mom groups, as someone who is annoying and selfish, you see. Did they call me that behind my back? It seems so. By the way, Elise, on that last trip, the fact that you had tried to exclude me from the group has already spread around. I knew it! After that trip was over, the other group of moms felt like they were distancing themselves from me. They'd say hello, but then they'd just leave. It's not the first time, though, that you're not well thought of by those around you. Oh, right. I feel hurt more and more. In order for people to not distance themselves from you anymore, you should change the way you behave around people from now on. Yes, so back to my point, but I guess I can't travel together with you guys? I alone cannot make that decision. Well, then why don't you ask some of the other mom friends? I asked in the group chat. Everyone hates the idea. If it's just a meet and greet, it's not a big deal. They do not want to have interact with you any further. Oh, no, please. If you do this, no group will want to let me join in, too. I don't want to be alone for the sake of my children. Sorry, but no matter how many times you say it, the answer remains the same. To be honest, I also don't like interacting with you anyways. What the hell? I'm already humbling myself before you, so you should have taken it. You could just cancel your trip. No, we will not cancel it because we intend to implement it as planned. Then I'll call it off. Huh? What are you thinking? Don't underestimate my power as the boss, Mom. Several days later. Elise, this is such a childish thing to do. What's fun about this? What are you talking about? Elise, right? I called the hotel to cancel. Huh? What are you talking about? There's no use in playing dumb. We know everything. But I told them your name, and I said, please cancel. He said yes, you know? If you say so, then the culprit, as I have expected, was you, wasn't it? Actually, that hotel is owned by a relative of mine. Is that so? Your husband works for a major travel agency, and you said his relatives run a high-end hotel. What the hell are you? It just so happened that it was my aunt who answered the phone, so they contacted me right away. It seemed that you were trying to ruin our trip, but the trip will proceed tomorrow as planned. It's unfortunate, isn't it? What? What? Why didn't it work? 
This time, of course, I've reported it to your husband, so... My husband? Of course I mean your husband. What? He said that you're a woman who never learns and apologized to me. Also, in addition to the ticket cancellation fee from last time, he said that he'll even offer to pay me a settlement fee. Of course, I didn't intend to punish your husband, so I said no. Huh? My husband? Did he pay the cancellation fee? Yes, he did. He came all the way to my house and brought me the money. We exchanged contact information too, at the time, in case something happened in the future. I didn't know that! I didn't expect it to be so useful so soon. My husband! What did he say? He said he had lost all confidence in being with you, you know. What? Don't tell me he's getting a divorce! I don't know if you'll have to ask your husband about that. Wait! I don't want a divorce! Please, explain to my husband that it was a misunderstanding! I don't want to. In the first place, the fact is that you've tried to screw up our trip twice, right? As you can imagine, we've had to go through the same thing twice. I can't just keep quiet about it. I'm sorry! I'm just... I've been a little bit mad myself and... That's why I've been saying, I think there are things that you should and shouldn't do. Just because you don't get your way, it doesn't mean that you should bother people. I'm sorry! That's enough. For now, we'll just have to wait and see what happens later. I think I'll let your husband take care of it. I don't know what to do. I just got pissed off the other day. My husband says there won't be a next time. He may not be forgiven next time, maybe. Then does that mean I have to leave the house? I don't know that. You have to decide on it as a couple, so... No! I absolutely hate being alone. All of this was brought about by your selfishness. I can only say that you deserved it. Oh, no! Don't leave me! You mean you don't care what happens to me? Yes. For the record, I want nothing to do with you. Huh? If you would just get out of this city, it would honestly be helpful. The other mummy friends and I will be able to spend time from now on without feeling stressed out. You don't have to say that much. That's how selfish you are, and we're so fed up with it. Well, then, since we have nothing more to talk about, if you'll excuse me. Also, I'm going to block your number. Wait a minute! Goodbye. Thereafter. It seems that Elise and her husband have become separated shortly after. She left their home and for the time being, started living alone in an apartment. As for her husband, he became completely disillusioned with her, and so divorce seems to just be a matter of time. We, on the other hand, were able to conduct a trip safely. Elise was also not there this time, so this may have been the most enjoyable trip I have ever taken. From now on, I'm going to live peacefully with the friends that I get along with. Sophia, do you have any plans to go out to eat somewhere nice? I do, but... but I can't invite you. What do you mean? Well, my sister announced that she's pregnant. We're planning to go out to dinner to celebrate. Oh, wow! Where are you planning to have dinner? A place called Akari in the next town over. It's a fancy Japanese restaurant! I see. We thought we'd celebrate a little extravagantly for once. Well, we'll celebrate with you. In exchange, can you treat us to some food? Huh? You're kidding, right? I'm always serious. I've always wanted to go to that restaurant. My husband would love to go there. Why don't you add a couple of us to the bill? I'm sorry, we want to have some family time. Why don't you make a booking on your own? That's no good. What do you mean? We're not like your family. We don't have the money that you and your family have. We don't have the luxury of fine dining. We can only eat fancy meals at parties. That's why I have to go with you. So you're asking us to pay for your meals? We're the ones who are supposed to be celebrating for your sister, so you should be paying for the meal. No, no, that's not right. I think it's normal for each person to pay for their own meals. You have an unusual way of thinking. Really? Just add two people to your reservation. I won't bring my three kids. That's not the point. 
we can't invite you and your kids to this dinner party in the first place. When we have lunches with our friends, we'll invite you. So can you please just give me a break? But you don't know when you're going to have this lunch. Well, everyone's busy with their kids, exams and stuff. It might be a while. I, I don't like that. Besides, it's not fair that you get to eat the good food and I don't. Excuse me? You have more money than we do. You can eat good food anytime you want, right? Don't you think you should be a little kinder to the poor? We don't have a lot of money either. My kids cost a lot of money too. We don't have the luxury of going out to eat as often as we'd like. But I heard that your child is going to a private school, right? Which means you have the money to pay for a private school, right? My in-laws are helping me pay for it. I mean, it's not like I need to bother telling you. Why can't you take my family to your dinner? I told you the reasons. You're so persistent. You're probably thinking, these poor people can't possibly understand the taste of fine food. Am I right? That's why you won't invite us? So, does it come to that? We just want to have fun as a family. We also need to think about my sister's health. I don't think she'd want to be around so many people. You insist on not inviting me. I'd rather not have you come. If you persist too much, I may have to rethink our friendship. I see. So you don't want anything to do with me because I'm poor. I didn't say that, and I never thought of you as poor. Who knows for sure? I think deep down you were making fun of me. No, I'm not. Why are you acting so weird? Why don't you calm down a little? I'm calm, I'm calm. If you're not going to invite me, then I have an idea. Are you okay with that? What do you mean? Are you thinking of interrupting our dinner party? Who knows? Well, it might turn out that way. My sister is looking forward to this dinner party. I don't want you to do anything to disrupt it. If you do anything to disturb my family, I'll get angry. Why don't you go ahead and get mad? You're the one who didn't invite us. It's your fault, so watch your back. What? A few days later. Hey! Are you on your way to the restaurant? What? Where do you think I am right now? I don't know anything about that. I'm at a dinner party you made reservations for. I'm eating everything here. You guys can go to a diner. Your reservation was stolen, so you have no place to go. No, I cancelled my reservations. Well, then what's this? Maybe it's someone else's reservation? I don't know all the details. But you said you were having dinner with your sister to celebrate your sister's pregnancy. That was the original plan. But she got sick and couldn't make it, so we cancelled the reservation. You didn't tell me this? I had no reason to tell you, since it had nothing to do with you. I guess. Isabella, don't tell me that you tried to hijack a reservation from us. It's your fault that you wouldn't invite us to dinner. You're acting like a child. And you have your husband with you, right? Yes, I do. He said he wanted to eat a feast once in a while, so I brought him. Did he know that you were trying to hijack our reservation? Yes, he did. He's the one who suggested it. What a couple you two are. I feel sorry for your kids. I don't care. What are we going to do about this? We've done something very wrong, haven't we? Even if it was our reservation, it doesn't change the fact that you did something wrong. Hey, what do you think we should do? You have to be honest with the restaurant and apologize to the person you stole the reservation from. What if he's a scary guy? Well, you can't change what you did, so you have no choice. Didn't they ask for your name or anything before you went in? I told them I had a reservation with Smith. They let me in without a second thought. I see. Someone with the same last name happened to have a reservation. Smith is not an uncommon last name, so it's not impossible. Really? Shouldn't the person who made the reservation be there by now? Oh, yeah. I believe they said seating starts at 1pm. They should be here by now. Hey, help us! I don't care. You're on your own. Bye. Hey! A few hours later. Oh my god! 
Of all people, it was my husband's boss. I see. Was your husband okay? My husband was chewed out by his boss. He charged us for every meal we ate. And he also charged us for the new meals they ordered. We'll be living on sprouts for the rest of the month. Well, if you were able to work it out with the money, that's good. Nothing is good about this. My husband's boss said he's going to report this to the president. We'll be the laughing stock of the company. It's going to be difficult for my husband to go back to work. It's his fault for doing this. It can't be helped. He's so small-minded. He might just quit his job. If he loses his income, how will we survive? I don't need you asking me that. If he quits the company, he'll have to find a new job, won't he? I don't know if he'll be able to find a new job anytime soon, though. Don't say it like it's someone else's business. Well, actually, it is someone else's business. I don't think I have to be yelled at for this. I can't let you get away with this. Whose fault is it that we're in this mess? It's your fault. No, it's not. It's all your fault, Sophia. You are the one who put us through hell. Excuse me? Why is it my fault? It's your fault for cancelling your reservation. It was my choice to change my plans. It's not like we made plans to go together. We were planning to go together. As an apology, you should treat us next time. I'm not taking no for an answer. I don't understand. Do you realize how ridiculous you sound? I think it's you who should be apologizing. Why should I apologize? You tried to ruin our dinner party, didn't you? Don't you feel sorry? Not at all. I'm just super sorry that our plan didn't work out. You were insane. That's so rude. I didn't say anything crazy. Who in their right mind would hijack their mom friend's reservation? I think you and your husband are out of your minds. You are so rude. But I'll do anything to get you to pay. I don't know what you're up to, but I don't think you should screw around anymore. A few weeks later. I just heard something juicy. You're rescheduling your sister's celebration. Where did you hear that? I don't think I told anyone. I asked my son to look into it. Huh? I ordered my son to find out what you and your family were doing. Your daughter told my son. Why are you bringing your child into this? Because none of my other mom friends will tell me. After what happened last time, they're avoiding you. They don't want anything to do with you. You are all horrible. I'm the victim here. No, I think I'm the victim here. You're making a big deal out of this. Anyway, you're going to have to pay for my share of the next dinner. Understood? I don't want to. You're on your own. And please don't come along. It's very annoying. You can't call me annoying when you're talking to a friend. I'm sorry, but after what happened last time, I have the worst impression of you. I don't even consider you a friend anymore. Oh, really? Well, I'll cut to the chase. I know where and when your reservation is. What? You're going to a fancy Chinese place this time, right? There's only one place around here that serves upscale Chinese food. Well, I'll look forward to seeing you on the day. Isabella, unless you want to get hurt twice, don't do this. You've been warned. The day of the dinner party. Yoo-hoo! As one would expect from a fine cuisine, the food was delicious. I ate a lot of shark's fin too. Good for you. You'll be soon here, right? Where is here? To the fancy Chinese restaurant, of course. It's the most talked about restaurant in town and it's delicious. Are you at the Chinese restaurant in front of the station? Yes, I am. You're celebrating your sister's pregnancy here, right? I came to the restaurant before you did. I couldn't wait to start eating. We're not going to that restaurant. What? You said we were going for a fancy Chinese meal. I never said that. But your daughter said you're going for fancy Chinese food. She said fancy. She didn't say high-end. I'm sure she felt the Chinese food at a small shop was fancy enough. She loves Chinese food. What? But the other day when I asked you if you were going to eat fancy Chinese food, you didn't deny anything. Did you know I was wrong? Sort of, so I warned you not to screw around anymore. Why didn't you tell me then that you were going to a small shop? I mean, that would have just made me a sucker, wouldn't it? I just didn't want you to come. You didn't want me to... You don't like me that much? If I had to choose between liking and disliking you, I'd say I dislike you. 
I don't know how you can like someone who keeps on getting bothered. Well, I'm going to enjoy my dinner with my family. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait a minute! What do you want? No, I need your help. I was expecting you and your family to come, so I didn't bring any money. You didn't bring a penny? No, I mean, it's not nothing, but... But it's going to be hard to pay for everything I ate. Did you bring anyone with you today? No, I came alone today. My husband is busy job hunting. So your husband quit his old job. Well, since that incident, the other employees started giving him the cold shoulder, so he decided to quit. He's been trying hard to find a new job, but he hasn't been able to find one. What are you doing here at the time your husband is going through a hard time? Because I couldn't forgive you! You say you can't forgive me, but you brought this on yourself, didn't you? I don't think it's right to put the blame on me. Well, maybe I was just mad too. I'm sorry for everything that I've done. Can you help me this time? How am I supposed to help you? I need you to cover the cost of the meal. I don't have any cash, and I maxed out my credit card. I'm at my wit's end. You mean you came to the store with no money? You're trying to dine and dash. It's a crime. I didn't mean to eat for free. I was going to pay for it. Then why didn't you bring money? Because... You were counting on us. Yes, that would be. I'll pay you back. And when it's done, you can cut ties with me. Will you help me? If I don't, I'll end up in a police station. Maybe you should just get arrested. Then maybe you'll learn your lesson. Hey, you don't care if your friend becomes a criminal? Nope. I don't care what happens to you. Don't say that! If you're in trouble, go ask someone who might be able to help you. I don't have anyone! That's why I'm asking you! My husband lost his job and we have no money. He's not the type of person who saves money either. So, what about your parents? My parents live far away. They're very poor and in debt. We can't count on them at all. So your in-laws live closer, right? In-laws are a definite no-no. They don't trust us at all. It's so annoying. If they find out I'm in a restaurant without any money, what would they say? And I haven't even told them that my husband quit his job, so I can't call them. But out of all of them, I think your in-laws would be the best bet. I mean, my father-in-law has a big job and a lot of money, but I don't want to have to rely on them. If they find out that we're screwing up together, we'll have to move in with them. I think it would be better for your kids if they moved in with decent in-laws. I'd rather they do that. You don't know how scary in-laws can be. That's why you're so carefree. Please, help me. I've already eaten. I can't stay here much longer. Then why don't you call your in-laws? If you can't, then I'll call your mother-in-law. What? How can you contact my mother-in-law? You don't know her. Actually, I had a chance to talk with her at the last school event. She told me that if that asshole and his wife ever does anything to you, please contact me immediately. And she gave me her number. What? She also gave her number to your other mom friends. I didn't expect it to come in handy so soon. Wait a minute. Please don't contact my mother-in-law. Our lives depend on it. Sophia, please text me back. Ten minutes later. Your mother-in-law is on her way to the store. Yeah. I got a text from my mother-in-law too. I can tell from her message that she's very angry. Of course she is. But I'm glad that your in-laws are decent people. If they had been a bunch of assholes, I would have been worried about your children's future. Oh my god, why are you doing this? That should be my line. From now on, don't call me when you don't need me. I'm sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Sophia, I'm sorry. So don't give up on me. Hey, if you're reading this, please answer me. Afterwards. Isabella kept texting me insistently, so I decided to block her. In the end, her mother-in-law paid for the meal. After Isabella came home, she was scolded severely. Soon after that, Isabella and her husband started to live with her in-laws. I guess the in-laws felt they couldn't trust her to take care of her family. Since they started living with her in-laws, Isabella has become a much calmer person. I still keep in touch with them just to say hello, 